It all started over the weekend when Detroit police officers from the 6th Precinct were doing surveillance on a suspected drug house. A car backed out of that driveway. That's when DPD tried to make a traffic stop, not expecting to find a body in the trunk. Officers were sitting surveillance at a home that looked like drug activity was happening at near Fullerton and Hubble on the city's west side late Saturday night. When a Buick LeSabre peeled out of the driveway, DPD threw their lights on to do a traffic stop. The driver didn't, the vehicle was unregistered. I believe the driver did not have his license. So they were going to start, they were actually going to make an arrest and they were going to tow the vehicle. The driver was detained. The passenger stood there but was not handcuffed. It takes a turn when officers prep the car to be towed. We have to do, conduct what we call an inventory search. And during that search, um, they located a body. As officers discovered the body, the passenger of that car ran off but was caught a short time later. As for the body in the trunk, it's a John Doe at the Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office. From the ME report that we have, and this is just an incomplete report, there were no outside or outwardly signs of trauma to the body, um, but they still have to conduct the toxicology to find out what's going on. Both the driver and passenger are in police custody. Now homicide detectives are taking over the case. Where it goes from here will hinge on what the medical examiner finds out and any help from the public. If anyone from the public has information on, on any of the incidents to notify the police department, um, we can 100% use it. Reporting on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.